but big news. Triske get up in this one? Well, uh, you'll want to know why if she doesn't, Max, because she is one of the best three-year-old fillies seen out in many, many a long year. She's had 21 starts for 13 wins, four seconds, three thirds, and she's already won about $1.6 million. To say she's handy is an understatement. She hasn't raced since the 3rd of April when she won the Oaks in Sydney over 2,400 metres. Jack Denham has been able to freshen her up nicely since, and 1,600 metres today really does look tailor-made. Ken, I guess if there is a worry, uh, it's the big field around Eagle Farm. Yes, John, and probably the fact she's had a few weeks off, but uh, Punter certainly thinks she'll win. She's odds on, and uh, practically everything else is at good odds. Let's look at these prices. Number one, and now the Joker is at 80 to 1. Armistar at 50s. Blaylock Bull, trained by Bart Cummings, ridden by Wayne Harris from Sydney, is at 10 to 1. Chime Zam, formerly from Brisbane, now trained at Newcastle, is at 7 to 1. He's actually second favourite on the tote. 200 initiation, 40 marine drive, 200 midnight mistake. 100 Mighty Panache, 20 Phantoms Hero, who you saw win so well at Rose Hill last Saturday. Kenny Russell rating then, he's in Adelaide today, and Beaver Schofield is on Phantoms Hero. Play on is at 25 to 1 in New Zealander, 50 Private Tudor, 10 to 1 Royal Saga. Bit of a tip among the locals up there in Brisbane, I believe. 33 Shinvari, 10 Sir Alberton, 50 Sure Cut, 16 Rose Red, 80 Special Faith. And let me transpose this to about a dollar sixty now. We better make that about seven to four on Triske. She's just tumbled down from a dollar seventy to a dollar sixty. Pretty short odds, but I suppose if you're backer and you get the cash, you won't be complaining, John. Right, O Ken, thank you very much. Triske, yep, Mick Dittman, the rider. Mick's had a wonderful winning association with this filly, and of course uh, he's very, very solid. Uh, as far as Jack Denham's concerned, uh, Mick has shown great loyalty to the Denham stable over a long period of years. Well, that's the scene at Eagle Farm Racecourse in Brisbane as they move forward for the Queensland Guineas of 1991. The other big race being run in Australia today is the Derby at Morfordville in Adelaide. And the people who own Triske, popular owners Jeff and Beryl White, have a filly called All Mine running in the Derby in Adelaide. So they could easily have a big day and if you please, they won a race here at Randwick a short time ago with a filly called Logo Gal, which paid about $36 on the tote. Chime Zam appeared to be one of the last to move into the gates. Oh no, we've still got a couple to move along, including Phantom's Hero. That's Phantom's Hero with the number nine saddlecloth, ridden by Stephen Schofield, or the Beaver, as he's better known. OK, the stage is set for the Queensland Guineas of 1991. Here is your commentator, Wayne Wilson. Racing in the Guineas, near the inside, Private Tudor got the best of it. Midnight Mistake came away fast, showing speed as play on, going up in search of the lead. Rose Road was fast into stride as well. She's driving through the pack. Mighty Panache is nice and handy to them in the early part. On settling down now in the leader play on. Races to the front from Sir Elberton. Phantom's Heroes moved up to be running third and then Initiation Royal Saga and Rose Road together. Private Tudor is next on the inside and, uh, and now the Joker followed by Triske and Mighty Panache together. Midnight Mistake is picking up ground but caught a little bit wide. Blaylock's Bull next on the inside of Chimes M2 to Private Tudor. Getting back as Marine Drive in company with Shortcut, Shinvari, Special Faith and Armour Star. As they come down the side, they've got 8.50 metres to go. Play on in front, a half clear. Second on the outside, Initiation and Phantom Skiro. Third, then Midnight Mistake, Rose Road. Followed by Sir Alberton and Royal Saga, Mighty Panache. Triske and that bunch as well. Then and now the Joker, followed by Private Tudor, the inside. Further back in the field came Chime Zam. Shortcut over on the inside. Blaylock's Bull a bit wide as they run onto the bend. Shinvari's next, well back Special Faith with Armour Star and Marine drive straightening up 400 meters to go play on's the leader a length in front of phantom's hero rose road and triske coming to the outside running on is sir elberton and then blaylock's bull 250 meters out well let's see what she can do mick's got a stretching on the outside and triske went to them triske's race to the front and she kicked away from blaylock's bull and triske start cheering for her folks she's good she's racing away from them and she's going to win the guineas triske first blaylock's bull second shortcut third followed in by shinvari armor star ran on then sir albert and phantoms hero the next one in chimes am royal saga then special faith further back in the field was play on private tutor now the joker well back rose road and the last few home initiation marine drive midnight mistake and mighty panache well she's done it again the great sydney philly triske 22 starts for 14 wins four seconds and three thirds and her prize money 
is now getting up over the $1.6 million mark. Took her a little while to hit top gear in the straight, but now she's in full flight, 100 metres out. Mick Dittman hard at work. He's slapping her down the shoulder with the whip. Now he goes for the whip in earnest. Triske responds and is well clear. That's Blaylock's bull with Wayne Harris on board, moving into second place. Absolutely no match with Triske and sure cut battling on strongly into third place. And it looks like Phantom's hero has finished just behind the place getters. You've seen the Queensland Guineas live on Wide World of Sports. And now this important break. $2.70 and sure cut third, $16.90.